Hello, my name is Tamara and I'm the Digital Services Librarian at the Kings County Library. Today I'm going to show you how to access your library card account from home. To start, you're going to want to go to the library's website, which is kingscountylibrary.org. Once you've arrived at this website, you're going to click the second option on the top menu that is labeled Catalog. Once you arrive at the library, online library catalog website, you're going to click the first option in the top menu here, which is labeled Login. When you click on this, it'll give you option to provide your library card number, or if you've saved your library card number, it'll have it stored there as well. Once you've typed in your library card number and PIN number, you can click Login. If you've forgotten your library card number, you can call staff at your local library branch and they'll be glad to let you know what your PIN number is or direct you in how to reset the PIN number. You can tell if you successfully logged into your library account because on the top menu it will have a welcome message. For example, with our sample here, Reader Reader, it's last name, comma, first name, and then middle initial. You'll also notice up top, if you successfully logged in, you'll now have different options available. There's the option to log out, there's the My Account option, My List option, options to select language, English, or Spanish, an accessibility option, or a Help button if you need help with that. So again, for our attempts and purposes, we're going to click on My Account so we can learn more about our library patron here. As you can see, when you click on the My Account button, there is a menu that comes up with five different options. The first tab in the menu provides the patron's information, or your information in this case. So for example, as you can see here, this is the li per person's phone library card number, address, phone number, email address. In this menu, there's also an option to change your four-digit PIN number, or four-number PIN number. Other preferences, such as language, account type, checkout views, and things of that nature. And then an option if you want to receive text notifications when you receive library items or items that are being held for you. The second tab has checkouts, which lists which digital as well as physical items you've checked out from the library. And as we can see with the sample patron, they've checked out a total of four items. It'll show all your items here. It'll also let you know how many times the item has been renewed, as well as the due date for those particular items you have checked out. One other thing to note is that you also have the option to select all items checked out, and the items will renew at least once unless it is on hold for someone else. The third tab is for holds. So if you have books or DVDs or other materials that you've requested and you have a hold on, it will actually let you know how many items you have on hold as well as which items are available for pickup. The fourth tab is for fines. If you had fines, it would list how many fines or blocks on your account are here, as well as the total due for those fines. Then lastly is information if there was diff additional information regarding your library card account. As you can see, the information that was mentioned in the menu is also reflected here on the right side in this table right here. Other things to keep note of in reference to your account is if you're someone who doesn't particularly have a library card at this time, if you were to log out, you would be able to have an option to log on um, to this website and get an e-card, since we're currently closed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. If you have fines that you need to pay for on your account, you can click this button, which will allow you to pay for those fines online. There's an accelerator reader book list finder, research databases, as well as hours and location for all of the Kings County Library locations. Thank you for watching this tutorial, and I hope you have a great day.